हाथ को पीछे मत रखो भाई यू आर ऑफिसर कैदी नहीं हो उत्सव यस वट ऑल उत्सव वी आर सेलिब्रेटिंग इन दिस जन फेब्रुवरी फेब्रुवरी मार्च एंड अप्रैल सर रिसेंटली वी हैड नाइन डे नवरात्र फेस्टिवल विच हैज बिगन वेन सिंस यस्टरडेज ओके अदर वी ऑल्सो हैव द मंथ ऑफ रमदान विच इज स्टार्टिंग फ्रॉम यस्टरडे ओके एंड देन वी ऑल्सो हैड उगादी एंड गुडी पौडवा विच इज फ्रॉम कर्नाटक एंड महाराष्ट्र रिस्पेक्टिवली so these are the festivals which march also i told very mm. important one holy yes mm. uh, what's your uh, mother doing she is she's a housewife sir no she is earning also uh, no sir uh, we have this family pension which i have indicated in oh okay, okay. Uh, uh, we are having elections now elections keep on having some state or the other or parliamentary elections yes sir. what are the elections due in this year and next year early uh, sir gujarat election is something that is gujarat then? and uh, apart from that if i am not wrong sir bihar is also due okay and next year uh, 2024 we have the general elections next is 23 23 and mm-hmm. sorry sir i am not okay. karnataka karnataka okay. <clears throat> uh You are from Uttar Pradesh. Hmm? I have been living in Uttar Pradesh for past four years. Past four years. Yes. Otherwise, you belong to Bihar. Bihar. Any? Anyway. Hmm? Uh, see bulldozers, you know, in Uttar Pradesh. Yes. Those are again came out yes, after sir. the elections. Yes. What is latest on that? Uh, so Some there has there. So there has been uh, refer reference of this owing to the law and order. which needs to be maintained in uttar pradesh mm. and bulldozer term has been used for that that anybody who tries to create public nuisance will be dealt harshly this not term uh, used bulldozer actual are there in the police ah uh, yes sir hmm? you have not seen photograph in the yeah i have seen huh? mm-hmm. oh, that was in what context uh, i'm sorry sir i'm mm-hmm. unable to in saharanpur one rape accused house bulldozer had gone and they demolish the steps also of his house i check it out sir eh? do you think i just want to know do you think it is a uh, uh, legally it is okay i don't think so sir eh? i feel that uh, such actions are not permissible by law and there is uh, whatever actions need to be taken by government should be based uh, appropriately on the law of the land rather than publicity but but the persons who are supposed to maintain law and order they themselves are doing it and on the orders of the almighty of uttar pradesh so it, it means it's totally wrong they should be doing it i don't support this sir huh? i think it is wrong it's wrong yes uh, if somebody is accused and only doesn't mean you go and demolish his or her house exactly okay <clears throat> some pacts have been signed very recently Hmm? with two hmm. countries yes sir india australia has signed recently a pact sir related to uh, prime minister was here who said yeah, uh, scott morris uh, huh? he visited india he visited india yes sir i when yesterday it was in news or tip yesterday sir okay acha what what pact had been signed uh, so the pact was related to uh, promotion of economic doubling our Uh, trade from fit to fifty billion dollars. Hmm. Apart from that, there were also talks about promotion of labor-intensive industries, which could benefit India's export. What is the major, the important uh, component of that signing of that trade agreement? Uh, sir, it was related to econo- economy only, sir, and uh, boost of export, doubling of. This is what I can remember. Sir. With Nepal. yeah recently sir with nepal uh, also but what has been done with nepal uh, with respect to nepal sir uh, recently we uh, mr prime minister of nepal has visited and there were talks about uh, solving our border disputes with nepal apart from that also completion of projects for example hydro power projects okay change of names it is very frequently names muslim names are being changed in uttar pradesh hmm? yes sir there so many uh, 
Ayodhya name, uh, that Fajabar district, yes, that name is changed. Now again some proposal is there. Yes, sir. Farukabad. Yes. Heard sir. of that? Yeah, yes. That is being changed to. I'm not sure, sir. Do you think it's a healthy trend? This should be done. I think, sir, in the present context, there is no need to go back to the things which, though history, they it is there a historical context to it, sir. But the utility of it at the present time is not there, sir. At what the, is the historical context on that? So that these names were changed in the medieval times earlier, the names have been different. Mm -hmm. So revival of our ancient traditions need so, to be done. But what is the harm if we are reviving our ancient traditions? What is the problem? S sir, we were, when the names were changed, sir, we were not a progressive nation then. Since 1947, we have become a constitutional. So now we are a progressive nation. So doesn't stop us from doing that, reversing that what wrong has been done in the past. So the intent behind it is what needs to be. What is the intent behind? Uh, intent could be political, sir. Intent could be anything. But I think that, sir, if it is really desired or the name is something that does not or brings some sort of agony in the minds of people, then it should be changed. Otherwise, there is no need to change names. So, in this particular case, what do you think? It should be changed or not be changed? I am not very much aware, aware of the historical... Uh, so, even of, some Mughal Raja at that time, that he changed the name. That uh, is historical of that. Uh, yeah. He attacked, took uh, in his uh, boundary and territory and he changed the name. Sir, if if the particular name which we have talking about okay uk exchequer chancellor who is he i'm sorry sir i hmm? don't know this no no idea i'm not sure Achha. okay uh, good so i see from your dad you have spent nearly at least 7 years in chennai yes sir huh? you have spent more time in chennai than <laughs> myself <laughs> okay tell me Two plus and two minus about Chennai. Sir, so one plus of Chennai has been the urbanization, sir. And uh, I, is a plus. Urbanization is plus. I do witness that, sir. The urbanization had been, has been very, to some extent, it has been planned, sir. And uh, only to a very minor extent. Come all the lakes converted into residential property. With one rain, you know what happened. Yeah, yes, sir. True, sir. And you call it urbanization in a very unplanned manner is a good thing. If we look at the public transport, sir, then in Chennai. Let's stick to one. Okay, public transport, yes. So that in that case, sir, we have highly functional. No, no, I, I can see that. And then what else? Uh, apart from that, sir. Uh, Again, public transport. Tell me something unique thing about Chennai. I mean, Tamil Nadu in general, Chennai in particular. But the public transport, there is something very nice thing they have done, which we, we don't do in Delhi or elsewhere. What is the reservation of women in bus, ladies' reservation? Ah, uh, yes, sir. 50 percent? Yes. And you know, if the seat is empty, no men will sit. Yes, true, sir. That is the thing. And here, in ladies' seat, men sit, boys especially, they don't get up, they argue. Anyway, <laughs> okay, what else? Uh, uh, both are extremes. Yeah, yeah, fifty percent is rather too much. Huh? Second thing, sir, in Chennai, I did also witness that during their uh, industrial location, sir, we should see a sectoral development, sir. For example, if you look at the OMR road, mm. uh, Old Mahabalipuram road, sir, we yeah. witness that IT sectors have developed. Mm -hmm. If we go southward of Tambram, we witness lots of uh, uh, automobile sector and manufacturing sector. So we see an agglomeration effect in and around that area. So I think that way, sir, it is good. Sir. Yeah, that, that, that's true. It, you can say industrial estates. Yes, sir. They are not dispersing. Here also we have Narayana and all some places, some yeah, industries. Yes, yes. Anyway, go on. What are the two minuses? One, sir, which you highlighted that the wetlands, sir, especially the Pallikarni wetlands in and around Chennai, that have been yeah. Huh. Encroached, sir. That was the recent reason of. I was there in 2017, sir, when the flooding happened, and, and then, that was one of the reason. And the other thing, uh, I'm discussing two plus and two minus of Chennai. He spent seven years in Chennai. So now, what is the second minus of about Chennai? 
सर सेकेंड थिंग आई पर्सनली फील दैट चेन्नई हैज नॉट बीन एबल टू डेवलप एज अ बींग अ मेट्रोपोलिटन सिटी सर टू डैट एक्सटेंट अ कल्चरल सिटी सर इवन दो सर देर आर वेरियस इशूज सर लैंग्वेज बैरियर इज वन ऑफ दम सर लैंग्वेज इवन दो आई हैव लर्न तमिल सर कर्नाटका नंबर वन वेर दर आर इश्यूज <laughs> anyway that's your personal let me not go into having that. worked in uh, one of the most developed state of the country sir tamil nadu if hmm. given a chance i would try to learn whatever i have learned sir i would try to no, no, but in when it comes to program you are giving four out of five because sir it <laughs> anyway, that is that's it. you know you should you are actually indicate what you mean anyway that's all right okay now your optional is geography very yes. quickly one or two questions on geography and something close to tamil nadu western ghats yes sir which are the state which are part of western ghats sir it starts from uh, gujarat hmm. karnataka Ma- maharashtra gujarat then karnataka so, okay sorry, go on. gujarat then? maharashtra hmm. goa karnataka and kerala tamil nadu of tamil nadu huh? yes sir you, uh, you are aware of kasturi rangan committee report yes sir uh, what does it say uh, sir it uh, kasturi rangan committee report was uh, presented to uh, preserve western ghats which is one of the most pristine and biodiverse area of the country mm-hmm. and some percentage mm-hmm. something yeah i am not able to recollect the exact percentage sir but it was a very high percentage that was reserved for presented to preserve or conserve conserves is the difference between the two yeah, yeah yes okay go on then uh, but later it was revived uh, revised by another committee report which reduced the areas no no but which state agreed which didn't you are are you aware of the report or just you know sir i am aware of it and that. then tell me now sir kerala no. objected to the report because a high portion of uh, area under the western ghats were for yeah. conservation and no construction activities could be taken there so in that way they uh, opposed the project one more state also objected which one then i'm opposed which one Karnataka for what reason? I am sorry, sir. I'm Sand mining, you know. Yes. The Bellary Bellary is going on. I mean, keep track of those. Okay. Last question. What are your hobbies like? I am not seeing. You have any hobby? Yes, sir. What? I listen to audio books, sir. And audio I... books. Ah, great. That's good. Why, why do you do that? Don't you like uh, printed books? Yeah. Which sir. you can preserve audio also, of course you can. But then. So one of the reason has been said during preparation carrying the book was an mm. issue. So while jogging or while eating. Okay, uh, any recent book you have read or listened to? Yes, sir. There is a book by a billion dollar spy by David E. Hoffman, sir, mm-hmm. which talks about Russian era espionage and human intelligence gathering mm-hmm. in heart of Russia, Moscow. So, okay, good. You are introduced on thirteenth May. Yes, sir. Lot of time. Yes, sir. Huh? Okay, we'll tell you. so you mentioned here uh, this competition application of phase change materials can you tell us about it what exactly was that ma'am phase change material is a latent heat storage device ma'am which stores huge amount of energy when it is when it transforms from solid to liquid or liquid to solid ma'am during its phase change so actually in the present context ma'am where a developing country like india where we have some issues of electrification we can have a stand alone refrigerator a stand alone storage device which can work on phase change material ma'am. so how does this work ma'am for example paraffin wax ma'am hmm. uh, paraffin wax what does it do ma'am that when it transform from solid paraffin wax to liquid it stores large amount of energy ma'am but and when it transform back when it is when it cools down it releases the same amount of energy So, in refrigerator, can we use this? I mean, solar refrigeration. Solar refrigeration. Yes, ma'am. Okay. That can be used, ma'am. So, uh, you were the winner. So, is this being used right now somewhere? This application? 
मैम देर आर सर्टन चैलेंजेस रिलेटेड टू इट मैम लाइक एंड फॉर एग्जाम्पल मैम द कंडक्टिविटी ऑफ फेस चेंज मटीरियल इज वेरी लो मैम सो डी आर डी ओ इज प्रेजेंटली अंडरटेकिंग अ रिसर्च इन विच दे आर ट्राइंग टू इन्फ्यूज नैनो पार्टिकल्स इन द फेस चेंज मटीरियल सो दैट द कंडक्टिविटी इंक्रीजेस इट इज ऑल्सो बींग यूज बींग रिसर्च ऑन केवलार एंड ऑल दो हाई थर्मल हाई एल्टीट्यूड एप्लीकेशन reflective writing is one of your hobbies yes. and what do you reflect about yourself while writing ma'am my actions generally recently it has been mostly about the preparation where i am doing wrong otherwise any current issue also ma'am for example my younger brother is going to chennai right now for his education mm-hmm. so he was like you have lived there for such a long time mm-hmm. on that i was presently writing that what is there how what you can learn how you can adopt how you should mm-hmm. that is something so if you have to tell us about your uh, two assets what would that be two strengths i would say ma'am one strength would certainly be that i don't if i have committed a mistake ma'am mm-hmm. or there has been some error i recognize that and i tr- honestly sincerely try to work on it and i don't try to build on any excuse that situation was not right anything of that sort and weaknesses would be that ma'am i didn't ask for that oh sorry my i thought <laughs> you immediately you know started <laughs> mentioning about your weakness now that you've started you may share that now <laughs> i'm sorry so no no please weakness has been ma'am that initially to get a feel or understand anything there is a time lag that i face for example understanding i need to sit down and there is some time that i take so i think that IQ level weakness is there mm-hmm. some some Okay coming to geography uh, olive ridley turtles was in news yes, why was it in news ma'am we have one of the largest nesting sites of olive ridley turtle ma'am mm-hmm. starting from urissa coast to tamil nadu coast ma'am gahir mata and all those yearly there they nest in and around our eastern ghats ma'am uh, and that is for that reason they were in news mm-hmm. and it was also mentioned about you know that they can travel to long distances so have you read something about it so it was uh, the study also had said that they can travel up to sri lanka and this was one of the unique features of these turtles so oh, no sure. okay uh, uh, what is the difference between coral bleach and coral reef ma'am coral reef are a symbiotic relationship between coral polyps and zooxanthellae and coral bleaching is the process in which this symbiotic relation is broken and why does it happen coral bleach ma'am there are a range of phenomena one is the environmental temperature rise because these coral uh, reefs function in a very narrow range of temperature and in that way due to rise in ocean temperature mm-hmm. one is the reason another is ma'am solar irradiation pollution in and around uh, release so are these primarily man made reefs Ma'am, primarily it, these are man-made reasons. Ma'am. Okay, okay. You have stayed in Chennai for a long time, so uh, Chennai is full of beaches. Yes, ma'am. So, are there any beaches with blue tag? And what exactly is this blue tag? Ma'am, blue tag certification is given by an NGO named as FEE, mm-hmm. and they are an international recognition to the cleanliness and the beach facilities that are made available, ma'am. in my and new knowledge ma'am i think iliot beach recently was given a blue tag certificate ma'am and it is one of the cleanest beach of chennai it's a small beach yes you know yes. <laughs> yeah okay thanks okay. tell me something about your company pentair sunmar so it was a safety valve relief manufacturing company sir and uh, for industrial application boiler application and for storage facilities we used to provide safety relief valves sir and so what is the turnover of your company i am not sure of the turnover sir it'll f- sunmar group yes sir. what do you know about sunmar group so sunmar group uh, companies was is is primarily deals with sir Uh, PC materials, uh, mm-hmm. polythene manufacturing. Apart from that, it is a very big uh, chemical manufacturing conglomerate, sir. And it also has 
uh, ventured into safety relief and engineering products mm. which is one of the major divisions mm. why that sun mar any sir it is a name of mr shankar and his brother i'm not able to mar for uh, the name of two brothers if i'm not sure one brother is shankar second is i'm sorry sir i'm not able to take it okay you have organized uh, tech fest yes, part of uh, in what capacity you organized you are sir in my final year sir we had i was the one of the leading members in organization of tech fest where we used to collect all the papers and then we used to time organization of events mm. setting up of various display channels and then distribution of prizes in how many that. colleges participated so there were over 25 colleges which participated uh, in chennai in chennai all in india oh, oh. total number of participants to uh, approximately sir in our department including production engineer there were over 70 participants <coughs> what is the total budget of that fest i'm sorry sir i am not able to recall that budget okay. exactly we were not involved in the money part of it sir who were involved in it? generally the department head and okay uh, so people who were in the faculty member they used to take care of the we were generally the okay. other Volunteers logistics other. and all those things okay the to uh, given you opportunity to learn a lot of things organizing an event and that may be useful in future career also what are the learnings uh, uh, have you got in this tech fest tell me three sir one learning has been that sir organization of event requires prior prior planning and lot of coordination sir that is something that i have learned sir hmm. then second thing sir that managing of team is something that i have learned hmm. that how to manage team because i was in the final year managing of juniors and motivating them to do something that is something that i have learned hmm. third is that sir overall success of the uh, when everything works out fine Mm. it gives a lot of pleasure and you feel that you have pulled off something very nice so it is a feeling that i have so okay mm. you might have heard commonwealth games yes okay yes sir india hosted uh, which commonwealth 10th 10th 2018 sir if i'm not wrong 2010 commonwealth 2010 commonwealth games yes, sir before that major event was uh, 1982 asian games yes So then we were in uh, uh, schools. So Asia was the, one of the biggest success of that uh, at that time. But whereas Commonwealth Games went into lot of criticism. Yes, sir. Uh, having organized this thing, can you relate what all the things went wrong there? Sir, the magnitude of uh, when the magnitude of an event. increases sir hmm. there are challenges or there are issues that can go unnoticed for example in magnitude olympics is a bigger event than commonwealth yes sir uh, world cup football is a bigger event every year ipl they are organizing such so why commonwealth went into problem because maybe sir it was after a long period of time we were organizing such a thing and we had to build things from scratch so you mean to say we have to organize every year such an event then only we will be uh, able to organize in a good way i think sir that was the first time so we were reinventing the wheel sir next time i think when we organize it again things will be much more streamlined and the process would not fall into you say three learnings okay yes sir you relate to these three learnings with that what could have gone wrong you might not have followed it up at that time yes sir uh, just guess what could have gone wrong sir coordination between various uh, stakeholders might have gone wrong so that could be one of the reason mm-hmm. second thing that could be sir that oversight or uh, that could not have been properly followed uh, because that is one of the major comp- third i think that sir proper feedback and monitoring could also have been 
So Varanasi, Varanasi and Chennai. Mm. Tell me uh, three commonalities and three differences. Sir, first commonality between Varanasi and Chennai is that, sir, when we visit both the places, we get a glimpse of culture, sir, that is witnessed in both Chennai and Varanasi. Second thing is that, sir, both Chennai and Varanasi witness large number of people visiting the region, Bo Chennai being metropolitan and Varanasi being cultural center. And third would be the food, sir. Both have a very distinct food, both Chennai and Varanasi. Differences would be, sir, one is one of the most developed city, one of the metropolitan region of the country, while Varanasi is still uh, smaller than Chennai, sir. Second is economy, sir. Varanasi is tourism-based economy, while Chennai is a manufacturing hub known as Detroit of South Asia. Third is also the location of it, sir, and the climate of it. Chennai has a... Okay. Good climate. last question. Yes, sir. Geopolitics in current context, what do you see? I see, sir, India being the... India emerging as the one of the prime players in the ge geopolitics in the Indian Ocean region, sir. And recently we see that India has been one of the... Did I ask India specific question? Sir, I think that... I am... How do you see geopolitics in the current context? I see, sir, tensions are rising, sir, all over the world. There has been decline in the economy, overall uh, economy and trade. And we see tensions across all the world, whether it is Russia-Ukraine crisis, or we witnessed that recently the North Korea was also involved in launching its uh, nuclear uh, uh, intercontinental ballistic missile. Apart from that, sir, we also witnessed that overall trade in the world has been declining. So I think that, sir, this is not a very positive environment for a very healthy geopolitical situation. Okay. What's up? Your interview is over. Yes, sir. Should I come back, sir? No, oh, be safe. So overall performance is good. You have done well. And you got still more than 40 days for your interview. One is uh, current affairs, you need to be looking, reading more thorough. Like the Australian PM. The Australian PM was only virtual. You should know about that. I'm sorry. He didn't visit. And he, I think this is the second virtual meeting. Previously also it was there a few days back. Then your handling controversial questions was quite good. That bulldozer thing and Rukaba. This is the way you should handle. Eh? Don't create any controversies or criticize, but it was good. Mm. Elections to be held. Eh? must read that political politics also you must take interest whether you are interested or not but for interview sake you must take interest UK Chancellor I asked you it is in news for the last so many days oh yes huh? he is son-in-law oh yes uh, and yes. it is in news for, yeah. because of many reasons so you should not forget that yeah. mm. <clears throat> I think commonwealth question you could have handled better when you entered I think you wished individually. Eh? Good morning, sirs. Good morning, ma'am. Individually, you need not wish. Yes. That is okay. <coughs> Keep on doing that. And be specific about your DAF. Many questions can be asked. We didn't ask anything about Bihar, Patna. Hmm? More can be asked about your UP, Bihar, as well as Tamil Nadu. Yeah. This is the first interview? Yes, sir. Hmm? First time coming for you. Yes, sir. It's good overall. Uh, uh, being on the first, it's good. But your mock, mock is not first. No, the first mock. Sir. First but, mock. but then you said, can I, should I go out? Where did you hear that? You should in go the, out and the frame yeah. our feedback. No, 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 uh, uh, first first mock. mock or? <laughs> first ever mock you are attending. Yes, sir. Okay. Then considering that no. first ever mock, your uh, performance is very good. And uh, only uh, what uh, my observation is, understand the question. Yes, specific. Just uh, 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 when Madam asked also, I asked also. 
and I think, answering. Uh, when he asked, then you said uh, I learned Tamil also. That was not required. Your answer was over. Then and uh, secondly, uh, some random questions only I asked. Uh, just assess you did it fairly well. The Commonwealth, your own learnings you can relate. That is exactly came out when I probed further. It has come. It was lack of coordination. Mainly, it was the commitment from the top was not there. Unlike Asia, that was the glaring difference. And uh, Olive Ridley, when Madam asked, she will also say why it was in the uh, news, in the current news. There is a specific question she asked, but you went on general Olive Ridley uh, story. And uh, geopolitics is the one which is have, having studied geography. We thoroughly thought geopolitical, uh, geopolitical theory, how you can apply to the current context, especially Ukraine, Afghanistan, Middle East, uh, China versus Japan. Okay. Uh, North Korea, what is the geopolitical interest of North Korea? Mm. Uh, these are all questions. If you throw ideas, questions will ask. They will ask. Okay. Throw and such a death. Uh, you are very good. Very composed. Your manner and tenor of speaking is fine. You know, on some questions, reflect for a second before answering. The best about Chennai and the worst about Chennai. For a second, think and then reply. You know, that will give you more. And, then you will better play. Now, geography, I don't have to tell you, revise. There are a whole lot of things which can be asked. Some simple thing like what is the time difference, whether we should have more time zone in India, you know, like that. Now, current affairs is very important. The Ukraine thing, the Russia thing. So many people are coming. Keep track of those. Go to the external affairs website. They give a handout of, after each meeting. Stick to that and see Rajya Sabha. And last is read Yojana. It uh, this was budget threadbare and the summary of economic survey. We didn't ask you anything for want of time, but you should know. Okay, basics. No other comments. Everything is excellent. I found you very knowledgeable also. Yeah. It's just that you have to listen to the question very carefully. I think that is my only comment. Just listen to the question before you know you start answering. The rest everything is. And uh, your interview is May 13th. So don't take too many months. Take one month. Uh, once a week, so that current affairs will become very important. First, read more, then take more. Yeah, and be careful in choosing where to go. Huh? Because there are hundreds of institutions. Somebody will say, we are this, sit like this, you know, all those. Those are very trivial things. Yeah, they are. Instead, read. Once you know the answer, confidence, everything will come. Okay. The if management. I may ask one thing, sir. Mm -hmm. Generally, from the feedback of my friends, they have told that your facial expressions are too much. Try to minimize it. <laughs> no, I think you were smiling so much. Yeah. Your eye contact know. was good. You were looking at everyone. Only thing is, sometimes you were missing fourth member. Hmm? Yes. Fourth member this okay. side or that side. That also. Otherwise, it's not good. Yeah. And you be there will be five members. So make sure you don't miss out any. No, you're expressing. Yeah, okay. Don't, don't go fine. with all these things. Eh? Be, you know, as it is, you are fine. Don't try to change radically. Okay. Okay. All the best. Thank, Thank you. you.